What's up C10 fam? We're in Daytona Beach, Florida, going to the Daytona Beach Spring Rod Run. And what better place to start it off than the brand new Bucky's? All right, what are we getting? Got the, Got the brisket. Got the brisket. <laughs> yep. Beer, breakfast burritos, some Gatorades, some jerky, some water. We're good. Mike, you good? You ready? What other gas station do you go to? You get a whole cart of stuff for your car show. It's crazy, man. Look who's crashing the party. Can't go to the Daytona show now without going to Bucky's, right, man? Oh, man. We've been here three <laughs> times yeah. now. It's addictive. <laughs> three times, and it's only day two. All right, just got to the show. Got my floppy hat and my Bucky's brisket taco. Check out this blower OBS I just pulled up. That's Mel. I met that dude at the all custom season opener. We'll go check his truck out in a little bit, but let's check out the C10s we got here today. Right, guys so I just met up with Joe so Joe's got this killer Suburban this is one of many and uh, I want him to tell you about this thing all right so this is my 77 Suburban I bought this about eight years ago it's actually got 40,000 original miles on it and I found it out here at Turkey Rod Run actually the story on the truck was it was only used when it was up in New York in the summers when they would pull an Airstream around so so it, that, I guess that's why the miles are so low on it and that's why it's in such good shape so it's Mostly original paint. The roof on it um, was resprayed, um, but but besides that, it's pretty much all original. Motor, trans, 454, turbo 400, um, original dash, no cracks. The interior looks like brand new. Um, it's a really really cool original Survivor truck. We actually uh, would use it to tow our 27 foot Winnebago. Oh, that's uh, right. Yeah, we actually would tow the the Winnebago a couple years in a row. We used it to tow our travel trailer out here to Daytona, stay for the week, drive it around. So um, it's actually got a, a trailering special package on it. So it's got the bigger leaf springs from the factory and everything. Um, but my plans, I don't really tow a lot with it much. So I, my plans are to, to do like a four six drop, and I wanted to run some like American Racing 22 inch. Uh, wheels on it if you guys don't follow Joe on Instagram uh, you got to follow him, at average Joe C10 FL I'll drop the name in a, in a card below but uh, Joe thanks for thanks for the interview man I definitely appreciate it bro. anytime let's get back to the show all right All right, guys, we caught up with Cliff. He's got this killer square body. Cliff, man, tell us about this truck. Where'd you get it? Uh, it's a 1987 Custom Deluxe. I got it up in Ocala, actually north of Ocala, from the owner's family. Basically, all we've done right now is all the suspension work underneath. It's got a C-notch flip kit, uh, new leaf springs in the rear, did the rear disc brake conversion on it. And up front, it's all tubular A-arms, fat sway bar on it. This oversized disc brakes, Willwood. It's got a new Willwood master cylinder on it. It's got the Delray 20s on it. What are, what are the plans of this truck? Because right now it's got the inline six in it, got right? The inline six and a three speed on the column. We're going to LS swap it. And I've got a six speed out of the GTO I'm going I'm to put in it. And that's the future plans for it. And where did you guys uh, come over from? Uh, from Tampa. We drove it over from Tampa, two and a half hours. So it's not a trailer clean. It's not a trailer clean. We drive them. <laughs> Awesome, man. And then uh, when you get the LS swap done, are you guys going to start driving around even more? Yes. Yeah. I'll hopefully be able to make it to like Battle and Bama and go to Tennessee and stuff. 
All right, guys, if you want to follow him, I'll post, uh, uh, actually, it's your son's Instagram handle, son. Dylan. Yeah. Dylan, coincidentally enough, runs OBS Club Florida and Florida Street Trucks. So, of course, his dad's got to have a killer square body. But, Cliff, thanks, man. I appreciate it. All right, thank Let's you. Let's get back to the show. Right, we just got to cruise in the loop. We got quite a few trucks out here already. We're gonna roll out in about 40 minutes or so. 30, 40 minutes. But let me show you what we got going on. Everybody say hi, Mike. <laughs> Every time. Every time. got back to the house we had so much fun at the Daytona Spring Rod Run cruising the loop was a blast Orma Garage was awesome I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you at the next one